What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about MW3's Gunsmith and the new aftermarket parts feature. So, September Games did confirm a couple of weeks ago in a separate blog post that we're going to be seeing the most in-depth Gunsmith experience inside of MW3. They mentioned that you can configure unique weapons, you can turn a machine gun into a bullpup, they'll allow you to focus on your preferred playstyle. A lot of promising information to expand on the Gunsmith that we already have inside of Modern Warfare 2. As Detonated also reported, we have this statement from a recent blog post, right? Aftermarket parts will also offer new new progression paths and challenges to unlock. We just didn't see much information about aftermarket parts until today. And a good year ago, right before COD Next for MW2, they also went ahead and released an Intel drop talking all about the MW2 gunsmith. So I'm not surprised that as of today, they decided to talk more about what we're going to be seeing with MW3's customization options. So let's jump right into this brand new Intel drop. For Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, we've added a new way to customize your weapons. Hell yeah. Aftermarket parts. Love these Intel drops. <laughs> Aftermarket parts are a new option within Gunsmith. A way for players to come back to a weapon that they may have already mastered or played out, mm. and it's going to give them an entirely new dimension Conversion to kit? interact with the gun in a way the regular attachments can't. Think of them as remixes for the guns. Replayability, baby. More really to do. The easiest way to say it is they're nearly a new gun. They are powerful and Renetti. meaningful changes to these weapons. Caliber, the way that they fire, both rate of fire as well as potentially the fire type. We're going to have okay. one of our heaviest light machine guns in the game have a conversion kit that turns it into a bullpup, which greatly shortens the configuration of the gun and makes it so that you can really run and gun with it. You can spray from the hip, you can sprint out way faster than you could with this much oh. longer, heavier version of the weapon. Aftermarket parts really aspire to just be fun. We want some of them to be just absolute oddballs that players are completely caught off guard by and want to get in there for just the hey, sheer spectacle yo. of it. It's going to expand playstyles dramatically. Akimbo. We've put a lot into aftermarket parts and we are so excited for the community to get their hands on them. That was crazy. We got a nice look at our customization menus, create a class. Gunsmith conversions. I mean, they first I'll talk about the Renetti. It's a nice look at that pistol coming. You can still see your weapon progression right here, what level you're at with it, your modifications. Again, you get five attachments, um, your rounds, your reserve. Not seeing any number of values next to these stats here, but maybe there's a way to equip that later or to add that on later. Uh, conversion kit. So this really expands on the weapon receiver system that we have in MW2, essentially giving it more purpose, giving it more spice. And I love what they confirmed about being able to do more with weapons after you max them out. That is replayability beyond belief, at least in my opinion. Really excited to hear about that. You get a full auto carbine conversion. Like what? And oh, so detailed stats. So maybe this will allow us to see the detailed stats that we had back in, what was that? I believe Cold War and Vanguard had detailed stats, but not Modern Warfare 19, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see how that gets incorporated into MW3 here. That's a feature that has been missing from Infinity War titles, but we'd love to see back. That's helpful for clarity. But yeah, the full auto carbine conversion, turning a pistol into what looks like a literal SMG here. That is crazy. The heavy carbine kit converts the any pistol into a compact and maneuverable SMG. It allows for optics, stocks, and underbarrel attachments. I wonder how this would affect camo mastery, if, if at all. attachments can. I love how they mentioned, yeah, these allow you to customize weapons the way that their normal attachments can. I mean, wow. I wonder how many conversions we'll have per weapon, though. I mean, at least one solid one, right? This weapon looks great. That is wild. I mean, that's helpful, too, because people out there were criticizing, at least recently with Modern Warfare 2, the fact that we saw what people are calling filler weapons, you know, an M13C, uh, a Lachman Shroud, uh, an ISO 9mm, even though we already had an M13B, an ISO 45mm, uh, a Lachman Sub, right? Maybe these conversion kits will essentially replace the idea of seeing weapons that are almost called the same as a part of the same weapon receiver, we'll see these aftermarket part updates through bundles or through DLC weapon releases, and you'll be able to change weapons in ways we haven't seen before. That's cool. And this certainly isn't filler at all. This is changing the game completely. Got a nice look at an LMG there. It's a 762. Really damn cool. So this is the Jack Annihilator. It's a bullpup kit. Holy crap, dude absolutely insane then you get the uh, WSP swarm see all our attachments here 
You can obviously take everything to the fire range. There is a fire range in Model for 3 for those that were worried. Then you conversion kit. So you can only equip one, obviously. Um, I wonder if it's maxed out to like one per weapon. If that, I mean, if that's the case, that's still fine. As we talked about in a previous video, there's a good 44 weapons leaked out for Modern Warfare 3. Not all of them will be available in the beta or at launch. Some of them might be scrapped. Some of them might be saved for post-launch updates with the seasons. So with that in mind, even if we get, you know, just one conversion kit per weapon, that's still, uh, <laughs> essentially, that's still an extra 44 weapons if you think about it. Right? That is crazy. And in this case, with the WSP, it, it's an Akimbo attachment, right? Brace, uh, what was that? Brace stocks. So it's not that different, because obviously you could just have Akimbo, you know, as uh, as a rear grip or something. But with this conversion kit, it'll make Akimbo a lot different than what we're accustomed to. At least it's what they're claiming. We don't know exactly the details on that yet. But I'm sure not every weapon's going to have, you know, a crazy conversion like this. But still, something different that you can go ahead and play around with after you've already maxed out the weapon and got camels for it. That's really exciting stuff. That's really exciting stuff. Let's see what Detonator went ahead and covered here from that Intel drop. Surprised we didn't get a blog post breaking more down or providing more images or some extra paragraphs. We end up getting a blog post on this. I'll pin a comment down below and we'll go ahead and read that on stream um, later tonight. Or I'll make a separate video on it later on. Yeah, pistol to an SMG. Yeah, first we got Gunsmith UI, detailed statistics, new background. So it's not just a copy-paste of Modern Warfare 2, for those out there that were curious. But yeah, make sure you guys are going ahead and following Detonated. We're going to have plenty of coverage coming out from COD Next. I will be flying in as of tomorrow. We're doing a lot of prep on Wednesday, and then the event itself is on Thursday. We'll also have plenty of juicy articles going up on Detonated.com. You do not want to miss out on covering multiplayer, Warzone, Zombies, and even Warzone Mobile. I have lots of videos here on the channel. And I know my stream is already scheduled. My stream should already be scheduled on my YouTube channel, as you will see right there. Yep, there we have it. It's pinned on the channel right now. We'll be live in about two days from now at 11 a.m. Central. Don't want to miss out on that. We have a lot that we're going to go ahead and get through. But that is about it. This has been DK. Dynamite, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on aftermarket parts coming to Modern Warfare 3's Gunsmith? I'm really excited about this. You know, I'm curious how these aftermarket parts will affect your gameplay in multiplayer, Warzone, even zombies. A lot of replayability that can be had here. Being able to take a weapon you've already finished working on and changing it into something completely different. We've never seen that in Call of Duty before. And this takes the weapon receiver system and just the weapon tree system we had in Mono for 2 to a whole other level that I think is actually a lot better than what we just got inside of the previous Call of Duty. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts down below. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.